Hey guys, welcome back. Star Power here. T today, we're going to be, be going over the latest episode of The Masked Singer, which was Muppet Night. And a little bit of context. Yes, I know this video is really late. I usually try and get it up before Wednesdays. I'm sorry I got busy and I was just, you know, not really inspired to make a video until right now. So that's on me. Let's move on. So, Muppet Night. <clears throat> As you can imagine, I had a lot of Muppets on the show. First, all the judges, like all the panelists, Nick and Kermit, all saying Rainbow Connection. That was really sweet, and I liked that a lot. <clears throat> and then, you know, the show got on. And the guest panelist was actually Miss Piggy. Which I thought was funny. Like Miss Piggy is such is is really funny. So I felt that she added a lot. <clears throat> All right. So reigning queen Robo Girl kicked things off for that episode. She came out swinging with Bohemian Rhapsody, which people may not know this, but. The Prince, last season, said in his unmasked interview that if he had moved on in the finale to the second performance, he would have done Bohemian Rhapsody as well. So, I like that we finally got to see that song performed. And also, I like that Kermit was on the piano for that song. It, it was funny. Wait. We got a new RoboGirl clue, which was a photo of Lindsay Lohan. And we got some new guesses for her, which was Zendaya, America Ferreira, and Miss Piggy. You can probably guess which judge suggested Miss Piggy. I'm going to say right now, no, it was not Ken. And then we got our first new mask, which was the Beetle. He did The Way You Look Tonight by Frank Sinatra. And he sounded pretty good. I enjoyed his performance a lot. It was really soothing. Some of the clues were most of the set of his clue package was like a, the judges stand in a courtroom, so that was a big clue. And he said in his package that you probably screamed my name at your TV. Some of the guesses were Mike Myers, Rowan Atkinson, who, if people don't know, that's who plays Mr. Bean, and Jerry Springer. And another clue that I should bring up, if you're confused why people have suggested those, is that another clue was that he's been in some blockbuster movies. So that is why those names are there. Next up was The Lambs, which was three different people. There was a pink one, a blue one, and a purple one. And they came out with Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. Some of the clues for them were a pair of jeans with famous written across the butt and a large diamond ring. Some, some guesses for lambs that, well, yeah, guesses for lambs. Robin said the chicks, which, if I remember correctly, are just the Dixie chicks with a different name. I think Jenny said that could be Heim. Which is a solid guess. But Ken's back on his BS, and he thought that was the Kardashians. I'm saying right now, no. The Kardashians most likely cannot sing that well. Moving on. On to the reveals. Beetle was unmasked first, which, you know, was expected. He wasn't as good as the other two. And it turns out it was Jerry Springer. So Jenny and Robin got that right. So good for them. And then for the for the Battle Royale, that's what it's called. Robo Girl and Lambs did Call Me by Blondie. And this is the first time in this new format that this has happened. R the current queen, Robo Girl, was 
voted off in favor of the lambs. To be fair, it makes sense. The lambs, were, the lambs killed it. But that was the first time that the reigning queen hadn't moved on. And RoboGirl turned out to be actress Cat Graham. If you haven't heard of her, don't worry, neither have I. But it turns out, they mentioned it later, she was in like things like, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and stuff like that. Alright, so, Lambs are moving on to tonight's episode, which is going to be 90s night. I'm excited for this, and I'm pretty sure the masks we're getting for this will be Walrus and Milkshake, so I'm excited. Alright, that about wraps it up for me, so I'll see you next week for a recap of the episode tonight. Bye.